robot. And the idea of all that flesh is very exciting for them. As of today, we heard Donna Simpson is meeting with many reality shows in pursuit of her dreams. And we are going to keep in touch with Donna to see where life takes her and whether she will reach that goal of gaining all the weight. Yeah, we'll keep in touch with that. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but Italy has taken over Grand Central. Eyewear from the beginning to the future is running through, now through March 24th, highlighting eyeglasses from the 13th century to a pair worn by, worn by Sir Elton John himself. Ben Aaron actually stopped by for a sneak peek at the exhibit. So I'm spending the afternoon at the eyewear from the beginning to the future exhibit. But before we get into that, let's talk eyeglasses. Do you think eyeglasses make a guy look smarter? Definitely. What do you think is a smarter attribute, eyeglasses or bow ties? I love bow ties, but I like glasses so I can see well. You see well and you look studious. Uh, that's what I am. Do you think people that wear eyeglasses are smarter? I'm very intelligent. I don't wear glasses. <laughs> and modest. And Yellow, tell me what is happening here. Well, I mean, it's happening that we have a retrospective about the Italian eye glasses dating back to the 13th century. And we have some special items, like the glasses that were constructed for Elton John. They are bright color and a very amazing shape. And this is something that is one of the, of the highlights of the exhibition. Jim and Jean, you guys are both wearing glasses. Do did you meet in some kind of like glasses romantic hookup.com? No. Do you find him sexier with glasses or without? Um, both. Horatio, we're going to talk about some of these styles, right? Uh -huh. The bigger eyewear is coming in. Well, if I look at the collections of somewhere like Prada, uh, you know, I would hazard a guess that the big statement eyewear is coming back. Huge. Yeah. Full body eyewear. Absolutely. Sexier eyeglass wearing celebrity, Woody Allen or Louis Skolnick from Revenge of the Nerds? <laughs> I'd say Woody Allen. Over Skolnick? Yeah. Woody, is, you think Woody's sexy? No. But no? Does he have some kind of appeal? You can close your ears, Jim. <laughs> Sexier eyeglass wearing woman, Janet Reno or Sarah Palin? <laughs> Over, over, Saturday. no matter what. Maybe throw some of those new, um, those new Gucci styles that you know up there on, right. on Sarah. I mean, yeah. it'll take it over. Sarah Palin or Janet Reno? <laughs> Janet Reno. So eyeglasses may make you look smarter and sexier. I mean, come on, look at the proof. Your cousin George. <laughs> <laughs> With spring cleaning on everyone's minds, now's a great time to clean out your closet. Open House NYC's own George Oliphant came to the rescue of one lucky couple in need of a closet makeover. Hi, my name is Carl Jones. Everybody calls me CJ, and my problem is my fiance's closet. My fiance has too many shoes. She knows nothing about this. So I, I can truly tell you when she walks through this door, she's going to be really surprised. So the closet's in here, I presume? Yeah, right in here. Come on in. All right. Shoes. Whoa. Shoes. 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 Could you help me out? CJ, you that's the right guy. Of course I can help you out. Hey. Hey, hey George. George. So glad you're here. And I'm definitely going to need the help of EasyClosets.com for this rescue because we're dealing with a closet. Well, I can't wait to start getting to work. Whoa. Yeah. great about this closet renovation is that they've gone from less than 10 feet of hanging, George, to over 15 feet of hanging space in here with the drawers and the laundry baskets and the whole top shelf for additional storage. And we didn't knock down any walls. Job is done. Now we're just going to sit here and wait. Oh, there she is. Welcome home, Evelyn. <laughs> Might be a little bit easier for you. Oh, oh my God. I would have never even imagined. Oh my gosh, this is unreal. Are you surprised? Oh, thank you. I'm so 
surprise. Thank you so much. Thank you, George. <laughs> Thank you. I do what I can.